it was good guys you already know what it is do i say guys it was good what do i say what's my intro bro it was good it was good it's your holy you already know what it is and today i have a theory about when 2.0 is coming out for tower fantasy okay now hear me out there's been there's been some leaks there's been some some talk there's been some of this and some of that in the community i hear all of it i see all of it and i just want to have a dialogue with y'all about what y'all think so listen to the video let me know what y'all think in the comments let me know if what i'm saying sounds stupid or if it sounds smart or if you agree if you disagree what you think is going to happen like the video come through the twitch chat i am going to be live right now when you see this video i am live i'm through come through we gonna have a good time we're gonna turn up a little bit you know how we do it on this side first off what i want to i want to talk about the banners okay i just want to have a little discussion with y'all so as we know the order of the banners has significantly changed we don't know who the second banner is but we know nemesis was the first banner and we know that without the collaboration nemesis would have been the third banner if we go by the order of cn and cn it was claudia cobalt b then nemesis then frig if we're not if we're not counting claudia's rerun then frig so frig was the fourth nemesis was the third claudia was the first cobalt b was the second i could have said that in order but i'm a dumbass so you guys you guys gotta do i said it how i said it okay so if we if we look at how they actually did it this time they put nemesis first which i guess ends up falling more in line with how the story works right you you meet nemesis pretty damn early in the story right so based off of that knowledge it would the next character would most likely be cobalt b or frig right cobalt b or frig would be the next banner character we haven't seen too much of cobalt b yet so i would personally guess if i if i was a theory crafter frig actually lines up more with the story right so if we're going based off of the story i would think that frig would be next okay i don't know it's just a guess but that would that would be my educated guess would be that frig is next frig is gonna be a good ass character i don't i don't really know i saw some stuff about her uh her stats in global they might have changed i don't know they might have uh, globally regionally balanced her it, it wouldn't be a nerf or a buff it's region regional balancing but yeah so that's that's why i think about the banners okay if i had to guess i would think that frig would be next now as far as vera and 2.0 and everything they did just release a 2.2 trailer for the cn version you can watch that on gadio's channel i will be reacting and and kind of breaking down the stuff that i see in that trailer in another video 2.0 might actually be sooner than we think because they also reduced the the amount of time it's going to take us to get to max level in the game so it used to take 88 days to reach level 70 now the way they have it set up it's only going to take 56 from the stuff that i saw some people posted a like a data mine of how how many days it should take now so it's only going to take us 56 days to hit level 70 based off of the way that level caps are set up right now as opposed to the 88 that it took in cn so we could actually be getting vera or artificial island because artificial island is before vera we might be getting artificial island fairly soon which i'm i believe the housing system will come with and then 2.0 maybe shortly after and when 2.0 gets announced if you looked at claudia's pv or, or claudia's trailer you can actually see she kind of is the one that's there in vera so maybe when vera comes out that's when we'll get claudia so if there's depending on how long it takes between this banner and the next one so we got what nemesis right now frig if if the banner after that ends up being claudia that's most likely when we'll get 2.0 now if it's not claudia and it's cobalt b next then cobalt b will probably be inserted during artificial island we'll have the artificial island content and then after cobalt b we might get claudia so th this is just theory these are theories okay i need y'all to understand i don't know i know, I know a lot of y'all keep calling me a dev because i'm on the channel i don't know they don't tell me nothing i just make videos for them sometimes i don't know i don't know shit. these are just guesses okay but i think they're pretty educated guesses i'm, I'm pretty sure this makes sense right so 2.0 is going to be huge okay and i and i honestly believe that they're doing it right because a lot of y'all hate the time gates all that stuff i get it but a lot of y'all also understand that genshin is releasing sumeru in a in a few weeks or a few days or something i don't know when sumeru comes out i have no clue when sumeru comes i don't play genshin um if you know let me know in the comments as well but i'm pretty sure sumeru is coming out very soon in genshin 
okay everybody goes back at you know all the content creators that play against and all of them they're gonna go play sumaru during the downtime in tof where all there really is like grind and min max and all that kind of stuff they're gonna be playing sumaru two artificial island should be coming out during the sumaru hype train area era right i don't know how long the content in sumaru is gonna last but when it's over and done with we might be nearing 2.0 in tower of fantasy which would give the genshin players that enjoyed tower of fantasy a reason to come back it would give them a reason to come back to the game so within the next few weeks and months we should be seeing a lot of content coming into tower of fantasy 2.1 is going to be lit whenever they release that 2.2 is going to be lit whenever they release that i'm hoping i saw the summer event stuff i'm hoping we get some of those summer events from uh from the cn version i did play some of those games in another video they had the fall guys game they had the tag the water tag they had the pineapple watermelon jumping game which i would love to play again because i had to play it on like 600 000 ping in the cn version and i could not dodge shit. i was losing chat was laughing at me if you guys come to the twitch chat please don't also come and start laughing at me guys because chat just bullies me the entire time bro another thing this is this is more for me right here i i just hit 1000 subscribers on twitch which is freaking lit and we're 1,000 away from 10K followers on Twitch, which is freaking insane. And I'm gonna have to wear a goddamn made outfit on Twitch. I ordered it already. I ordered it. I got off Amazon. It should be here in a couple of days. I don't know when I'm gonna do it yet, but I have to do it because we got 1,000 subscribers. And the next goal is 1,500 subscribers. And I'd have to wear the Linye Beach outfit. Please don't make me do that anyway um it's been real y'all and I'm, I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed this video i just wanted to kind of dump what was on my mind about the game upcoming content because i know a lot of people right now don't really know everything that's coming along like they didn't watch cn content or they don't know so all they know is what we have and what we have right now isn't a whole lot i mean let's be real it's really not a whole lot you can uh when you're done with your you know your story quest you can mount mount farm when you finish that you can pvp which fucking sucks i hate pvp bro i want to fight everybody um all of y'all y'all know who you are bro y'all made y'all made me do what i did in pvp i just want y'all to know that don't be mad at me y'all y'all made me do it uh, so you got pvp you got mount farming you got the side quests you got you know all this stuff that you can do with your vitality you got your void rifts you have stuff to do and it is an MMO, so you have that repeatable content that you can do to, to prepare yourself for shit. There's a lot to do, okay? And a lot of people don't like grinding, especially in gacha games, right? Because gacha games, you're just supposed to press auto, and it's just supposed to do everything for you. It's an MMO, right? You, there's going to be some grinding. There's going to be some dry points. And this dry point, a lot of y'all, man, y'all didn't play as hard as I did, bro. Finish your world exploration. Go get all your mount pieces. The mounts are all going to be unlocked here pretty soon. Get, get your shit done, and then be like damn all i really got to do is grind because there's a lot of shit to do outside of outside of just doing the story bro there's a lot there's a lot more to do so um and there's a lot coming so just be ready for that man yeah we're pretty lit on this side i'm lit i'm excited the game has been great y'all have been great i appreciate y'all i don't i don't think i say that enough man look at look at me for those y'all that made it to the end i just want y'all to know this bro i'm already full screen i was about to go full screen i want y'all to know this bro i appreciate y'all every last one of you you are appreciated if, if they don't appreciate you i do if she don't appreciate you i do bro she ain't even worth it like that if he don't appreciate you girl i got you i appreciate y'all so much for everything that y'all have done for me these last few these last few weeks man y'all are awesome i couldn't ask for a, a cooler community Thanks, bro y'all are the coolest community in the tower fantasy verse bro nobody is nobody is cooler than us all the other content creators are mad cool I'm, i've been making friends with uh with gadio pen dragon zaki poo what's good with you you know what i'm saying i see you gd bro we've been we've been cool for like a year and some change now uh vulcan mad cool dude tectone mad cool dude There's, bro everybody everybody that's in this space right now again if i don't say your name don't hate me i just you know i'd be here forever if i said everybody's name let's keep the drama out of here none of that this is the worst bro just leave just come on man we can talk about it have a dialogue about it but don't you know what i'm saying don't make it seem like the game is just dog shit because one thing happens because stuff is gonna happen developers aren't perfect but they are doing a damn good job i appreciate you two developers much love to the creators of tower fantasy they're doing their damn thing man to make this a, to make this a super fun game i appreciate y'all i've been i've been rambling i've been rambling we're still here are you still here you still listening to me just 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 talk 
Well, um, thank you for listening. You can go. It's fine. Just make sure you click that like button before you leave. And maybe subscribe if you're not already. Click that red button. You already know. All right, y'all. It's been your boy, Holy. It's like always, man. <laughs> I'm out this